hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered that how we can download and install openvpn connect software in the windows machine okay once you open the openvpn connect software either it will ask you to provide the url or either it will ask you to provide the uh, vpn profile using .ovpn file but we don't have anything right now so in this video we will see how you can create your own .ovpn file okay how to get the .ovpn file and how to configure the port map io website for the port forwarding so let's see how you can do that so we will close it we will navigate to our blog and uh, we have covered this part that how to install the openvpn connect now we are going to cover this part that configured port forwarding mechanism on the portmap.io website so first of all you have to open the portmap.io website you have to create your account and then you have to log in and then we can use it for configuration so i have already done the first step i have signed up and i have logged into that portmap.io website so let's open the portmap.io in the new tab you can see fusion automate is already logged in now we will go to configuration you can see there is no configuration available so first of all we have to create a configuration so we will press create new configuration and this configuration is to forward the port of node red service which is running in my local system so i'm going to name it as a node red okay and the type i'm going to select is a open vpn and the protocol we are going to select is a tcp protocol because node red service will run on the local port of 1880 but that will be a tcp port so that is why we have to select the tcp and then we can click on generate to generate our .ovpn file okay you can see .ovpn file is generated now i can download the .ovpn file from here so once you click on this download button the ovpn file will download now what we have to do is we have to set the mapping rule we haven't set the mapping rule that which port we want to forward okay to the public ip so we will go to mapping rules here and then we will create a new rule so first of all we have to select the configuration so here you can see uh, i have created the configuration with the name node red type openvpn tcp so same thing we have to use first you have to create a configuration and then for that configuration you have to create a mapping rule okay make sure so for this configuration we are going to create a mapping rule so we will go to mapping rule again we will create a new rule we will select our configuration node red protocol tcp leave the host name as it is port on the port map.io will be 51350 so previously when i was creating this blog the port number was 41712 you can see here 41712 41712 okay now for this time the port the port map io has provided to me is 51350 so we are going to use this port as a public port okay now port on your pc so on my local system the traffic of 1880 port i want to forward to the public ip so i am going to write 1880 okay and uh, that's it i can click on this create okay you can see it is created now my local port 1880 will be available at 51350 public port okay i hope this thing is clear now we have already downloaded the .ovpn file so in the next video we will see how to import the ovpn file in the uh, openvpn connect and how to create connection okay so in this video what we have covered is we have covered this part configure port forwarding on the port map io so we have created the configuration okay you can see this is how we have created the configuration we have downloaded the .ovpn file we have created the mapping rule and uh, previously for the mapping rule the port the port map io has provided to me is 41712 but now the port they have provided me is 51350 so it will change every time okay it will not be fixed port now uh, we have created this kind of uh, uh, you know mapping rule as you can see here so that's it okay now in the next video we will see how to enable vpn connection with the uh, downloaded dot ovpn file okay and if you still have any question or any doubt or any concern then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp so we will see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you